So I, I went through some of my junk and uh, I decided to give a little bit of history of why I keep this stuff. You know, uh, women always say men keep the weirdest things, so um, this is not that weird. It's, it's a little bit of history for me. Um, this is back in the 80s before, you know, the internet and all that stuff. I'll show you it here. Um, what you see there is um, that's, believe it or not, is an FM, an FM transmitter. It actually transmits on FM radio, and at the time I was living in Greece, and here's the insides of it. Okay, so that's right there. Okay, so at the time I was living in Greece, and there were only like three radio stations in the whole country and they were all government controlled that was in the eighties and there was an underground movement of uh... they call them pirate radio stations where um, people like me would buy these kits you know in uh, local electronic shops and they would basically put up an antenna on the roof and they would just transmit fm radio to um, wherever they lived uh, big cities, small cities, whatever. Uh, the government tried to crack down uh, at the beginning. In the end, they just gave up because, I mean, the programming was so awesome from these little stations that, you know, people loved it. And nobody would, you know, rat on them. Um, so that went on for a couple of years, and I joined in, so, and I created this little uh, radio station. Um, which uh, was pretty popular. I played, you know, uh, pop music. I remember playing songs like, uh, oh, uh, Beastie Boys as well. I, stuff like Rick Ashley, uh, which was popular in Europe at the time. So, I guess the reason why I'm mentioning it because in my mind, now that I think of it, this was the beginning of my venture in, you know, the public space. Um, you know, now it's the internet and my website, but back then it was this, this, this little box that um, transmitted FM signals uh, across the country. Um, and actually there's another piece of hardware um, right there, which I also kept, and that was actually went in between this little box and the antenna and actually reduced uh, standing waves. Because if you had standing waves on the cable going into the antenna, um, that would reduce your output signal. So um, that was there to help me for that. Um, another interesting story was there was another fellow who was also had an, uh, an FM radio station and he was uh, uh, in another village at the time. and what we would do late at night after midnight is we would both flip on our radio stations and we would actually uh, have a conversation back and forth um, you know from using <laughs> the radio broadcasting equipment and we would actually just chat you know chat about personal stuff about life and if you were lucky enough and had two radio uh, uh, two radios you c and one tuned to my station and one tuned to the other buddy's station you could actually listen to our conversations that way um, and again I mean at the time I thought this was fun and cool but if you think about it I mean this is <laughs> crazy stuff you know broadcasting uh, unregulated uh, radio uh, on the FM waves and using that to just have a conversation with someone else and that was done in Greece, um, uh, southern part of Greece, uh, back in the 80s. I can't remember the date. I guess it was like 85, between 85, 88, something like that. Anyway, that's my uh, video blog post. Uh, thanks for watching.